since we came to Australia, and you've seen a great many reports in the papers, and I've been asked to say a word or two about the crisis. The dollar crisis, as it's called. Well, it arises from the fact, first, that, of course, a large part of Europe and Asia, which produced food before the war, uh, have been producing much less, or were devastated. Uh, and the result is that many countries, including our own, have had to look much more to the dollar areas for their food than they did before. Right. Well, you know <coughs> that America made a great loan to uh, Great Britain to help us through the reconstruction period, but the drain on that uh, loan has been quite different from what was originally anticipated. First place, prices went up 40%, the next place, we've had to spend out of that loan 150 millions, keeping the Western Germany fed. And in the next place, we act as banker for large numbers of other nations who, like ourselves, have been short of dollars. And the result is that by what's called conversion, they've been drawing on the loan. So that these three causes together, added to what we had to buy for our own sustenance, have caused an immense rapid drain on the loan. The sensible thing, therefore, is that we have got to look to our splendid friends of the Commonwealth for our food more than ever before. And I can tell you that they're one with the other in doing their level best to help us. Well, we shall get through it. Don't you worry about that. We've got through this kind of thing before. Uh, there was a man, Mr. Jordan from New Zealand, reminded me the other day, who said in 1868 that nothing can save the British Empire from shipwreck. Well, you know, a lot's happened since 1868. You've had Hitler and uh, Mussolini and lots of other Jerry Myers about the British Empire. But we're still here and we're still going strong. And I'm quite sure with our friends of the Commonwealth together, we shall see it through as we've seen through several other crises in our history before. Mm -hmm.